was a full-blown alcoholic in that sense. She drank every day, said from starting in the morning till nighttime, and that created a lot of animosity in the household, you know, with my father as well, because we were all trying to make her better. That kind of led up to 2008 when she went into a full seizure, like just the plate went flying five feet in the air, like she just seized. And so I'm freaking out. Everyone's freaking out. I'm not freaking out as much as everybody else. My dad's like running over like... <laughs> Little sad. Little sad. She came out of the hospital and she started doing wonderful. She she stopped drinking and everything like that. She, she went a few months like zero drinking and stuff like that. But once again, as soon as my sister was mentioned uh, in what she does, she would start up just like that again. I watched my mother die in front of me. Um, I came home so pissed at myself because I was working that day and I should have been home and I wasn't. It's probably my biggest regret um, in my life is not being there for family. And uh, I asked my mom if she was in pain, and she said she was in a lot of pain. And I gave her her last dose of morphine, and she went to sleep. And it was horrible. Um, I, always, I sometimes wonder whether that last dose maybe, I don't know, killed her? Did I? Did I I don't think that I did that, but, you know, she died right after. It was, it was a natural course of uh, the way it was meant to be. Uh, you know, she, she didn't have anything left, and, and so it's okay, though. You know, you let her, uh, I'm going to breathe for one second. The next traumatic thing was finding out my dad has cancer. Last time I got to spend with my dad was in San Diego um, on the beach. And he came out and I told him, oh, I'm gonna have a couple other friends there, dad. And he's like, that's fine. Um, I go, but they call me Sunny Dad. Is that gonna be okay or is that gonna be weird? And he's like, no, I just wanna spend time with you. He was all bundled up in a leather jacket because he was so cold. And it was summertime, but he was just so sick. Um, and I'm sorry. So he came out. We had a wonderful afternoon. And then he went in for surgery. And he had complications during surgery three months later. July 26th, he um, was having internal bleeding and the surgeon refused to do surgery because he would bleed out on his table and die. So between my brother, Daniel, and myself, mainly me, again, um, had to make the decision to say goodbye. And it's the worst. because you feel like you've killed them. But I had no choice. I scattered both uh, my parents' ashes in the Ganges, um, which then leads to the sea. So I believe that a part of my parents are a part of the sea. So I go there to ask for their blessings because I, it's the only place that I can go that I know they're physically a part of, uh, their ashes are a part of. I go there and I ask them to bless my movie, to bless me, to keep everyone that I know and that I love safe and happy. And I give them flowers because they love flowers. It's just that simple.
still. to Bobby Khan, who's the director of the film. And, uh, you know, his first question to me was, are you fine working with Sunny? So I said, uh, yeah, why not? As in, I don't have a problem. He said, no, because most people have. See, my only restriction in films is uh, kissing on screen. That's one thing which uh, I think that's too intimate. It's something where you are sort of touching the souls. Cut. Cut. Half the industry are calling me to get Sunny on board. Literally. That means he can carry a film on her own. They want to come here to Rajasthan, baby shooting with the bags of money. Can we sign? I said, no, you can't. Sign. I fit in with my fans. My fans have been really supportive. My fans love me. They've been with me for the last 14 years of my life. They've watched me grow as a person. They've watched me grow 
as an actor, as an entertainer. But as far as the film fraternity goes, I'm not really part of it. I think that they're very curious. They all want to know who's this Sunny, what's she all about? She's the, you know, she's this, she's that, she's that, you know, every name under the sun they've called them, whatever it is. Um, but I'm not, I'm not a part of their group. Today is the whole princess look. I'm so excited. I won't be looking like this, but I'll be looking like a princess. I don't know what my legacy would be. I don't look at myself and go, oh my gosh, I'm the greatest actress or dancer or even an adult. But one thing that I was good at was turning a quarter into a dollar. My theory was that if I'm going to take my clothes off for the world to see, then I want to make every single penny. Why should anybody else? That's what I was good at doing. If one day I had a little girl or a little boy and they came home from school and said, Mommy, Daddy, this kid's from school told me who you are. Is it true? I, I think I would just say the truth. Mommy made some choices in life that were her choices and decisions that made sense to her, which were to be, if, if they brought up the idea of adult, um, which would be to... You know? But I don't know. I'm so confused. I have no idea. I don't even know. The individual that I would raise in... I don't know. I have no... This is such a hard question. I have no idea. I don't even know. I wouldn't even know where to begin, maybe. I don't know where to begin now. And I don't, have an, I don't even have a child. Like, this is for all for Sunny. Sunny is now expensive and famous.